Okay, so our next speaker is going to be David Mason. David Mason is a senior vice president of AOL's content platform responsible for the company's digital media production, including Seed, Studio Now, and AOL Studios. Before accepting his role at AOL, David was the CEO of Studio Now, the world's largest web-based video creation platform and company he co-founded and, and a company he co-founded in January 2007. As a veteran technology entrepreneur and e-commerce pioneer, he started one of the first internet bookstores in 1994, which became buy.com. Please welcome David Mason. Hello. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, my, my voice is going out on me, so uh, hopefully, uh, and I'm glad these are three to five minutes, so that's, that's about perfect. Um, thank you very much. Um, uh, speaking about babies, my wife is uh, any day now, so I've got my phone in my pocket here, and I might have to run out of the room. Um, but uh, no, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I'm going to kind of talk about uh, three or four key ingredients um, that I think I've used in the past and uh, that I've heard from other people and that, you know, I've seen around me in, in terms of creating, you know, very impactful, you know, successful, you know, entities or, um, you know, solutions to problems. Uh, I, I've heard it mentioned about five or eight times already, so I'm not going to talk too much about this first one, um, but it's passion. So Mark, a good buddy of mine right up there, Mark and I have actually done a lot of business together and we're good pals. Uh, Mark mentioned it, it it's passion. Uh, it was just mentioned a couple of times by, uh, sorry, Taylor, Ty, Tyler. Um, you know, it, it, it's passion. If you're going to do anything, if you're going to make a change, if you're going to go after something, have the passion first. It has to be in your heart. Because what passion does, passion leads to learning. And, and that's the next key ingredient. The next key ingredient, I would say, is become an expert. All right? You need to become an expert in something. You need to devote the time, the energy. You know, Peyton Manning doesn't walk onto the field after looking at a playbook or film for one hour. He does it after looking at, you know, a hundred hours. Um, you know, some of the people in my industry, Larry Page, Sergey Brim, those guys stay up till two o'clock in the morning. They have thousands and thousands of hours of working and working hard. And, you know, you're going to do that about the things that you're passionate about. Uh, but, but that's key. No one, no one builds a business. No one's a successful athlete. No one's a successful artist or musician without putting in the work. And, and that's what it takes to be an expert. Um, you know, with, with genetic sequencing and all the things that we know from that, we, we, we know that we're 99.999% the same. So what's make, what makes us different? It makes us different when we actually put in the time and put in the work to go after something that we believe. Um, so that, that's another key, key ingredient. Um, and then what can you do once you're an expert, once you have all this insight, once you're kind of, um, you know, deep, deep into something that you're very impassioned about? You can disrupt. You can innovate. You can revolutionize. Um, you know, I, I, I mostly deal with startups. I'm now with a big company right now, so it's been a little bit of a change. But I mostly deal with startups, looking, you know, starting from, from zero and trying to display something, trying to innovate. Um, and you never take on Goliath head on. You know, you, you, you never, you know, go up against the eight foot giant with a sword and a shield. You do something different. You whip out a slingshot or a sling from your pocket, and you shoot from 20 feet away, and you get the big guy. Um, so, so that's the other thing. It's disrupt, innovate, do something different when you're after a big opportunity or if you're trying to solve a big problem. Um, don't try to take it head on. Most of the time, you can't take it head on. You have to disrupt. You have to attack it from the sides, from above, from underneath. Um, and, you know, those are some of the things that, that I've experienced that have, uh, that have come to work. Um, you know, one of the first internet bookstores that I created, um, we didn't try to replicate Barnes & Noble. We didn't try to build, you know, tens of thousands of bookstores. We did something totally different. Uh, we used the internet to reduce the cost structure. Uh, by reducing the cost structure and having something that was open 24-7 and that people from all over the world could get, that was very, very different than what was going on at the time. So I see that happening just time and time again, and, and, and that's another key ingredient. And, and the last thing uh, that I would say to end is that, you know, keep those ingredients, swirl those ingredients around, 
and, and put them to work. No, you got to get out there. You got to take the risk. Mark, again, Mark and I complete each other's sentences, but you know, you, you, you got to take the shot. You got to try. You'll never know. Um, and if you take the shot, you miss. It's okay because you're passionate about that. You're going to keep working and you're going to come keep thinking, how do I get it to go in the next time? What's a different way to go about this? Everybody else is doing it this way. Let me try to do it the other way. Um, so those are, those are some of the key ingredients that I've seen work a lot, that I've experienced myself, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to hear a lot of those repeated again today. But it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you very much.